Okay, so in this video what I want to do is show you guys how to network between two RS Logics 5000 controlled PLCs. So we're going to be using um, some compact logic PLCs to perform this. I already have the screen set up for you. So on this one we're using an L35E. Over here we're using an L32E. To network between PLCs is pretty complicated. There's a lot of steps involved in it, but once you do it a couple of times, it'll kind of just become a natural thing. There are a lot of different ways to do it as well, such as using messaging commands and things like that. In this video, what I want to do is just show you the basic way to do it, so you guys can kind of be able to send bits back and forth. The first thing we have to do when we do this is we have to set up our Ethernet connection between the two projects so they can know to what they're going out and looking for. So we're going to come over here. This is going to be uh, the L35E. This is the L32E. The L32E is going to be um, the receiver. This will be the sender. And you can go back and forth on them either way. So what we want to do here is we want to come down to our IO configuration we want to go to our Ethernet we want to select new module now since this is the one that we're doing right here is the L35E we're going to be sending it to the L32E that's what we need to look for for that processor so we're going to scroll down here to uh, L32E which is right here now it looks a little bit different because it has the Ethernet port after it this is the one that we want to select here we're going to hit create this is what revision it's on. Uh, both of them are set to revision 20. So we hit OK here. If it's if it's set to a different revision, such as 19, 18, make sure you select that. But this one's set to 20. So we come over here and hit OK. Then we're going to name it. And I'm just going to name this um, the receiver. OK. And then I can put a description if I want to, but I'm not too worried about that. Then I need to put the IP address. The IP address for the receiver. Now, this is not the IP address for the um, program that you're typing in right now. It's the one that it's going to go out and search for. So that's going to be 168. Then I have one. And this is 25 is where we're going to be going to. So um, we're going to hit OK here. Notice that this one is the same IP address, but 20, not 25. Where the one that I just created here, that's actually, that was 25. So you make sure you, those are not the same IP addresses. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. The other thing I like to do just to make sure that everything is uh, copacetic is to say, um, count one two three four five and as long as I have five drops after my uh, Ethernet then I know I successfully created it so now I need to do the same thing over here for my L32E this is going to be the receiver this one is the sender this is the receiver so I come over here right click new I'm gonna go through the basic same steps but in this case I'm looking for an L35E not a 32E so I come over here grab this Major revision again is number tw both of them are on the same revision 20 if, it, if they're not on the same revision typically it doesn't matter but uh, just keep that in mind so I hit OK I'm gonna say I'm gonna call this one the sender the IP address is uh, 192.168.1 and then um, this is the IP address for this one over here so this is 20 and I'm gonna come here and hit OK so now I have set this up for uh, both programs to be able to go out and recognize each other and you can see that here yeah, one two three four five so my networking is good I'm ready to start rocking and rolling here so since this is the one that's going to actually send the uh, signal over what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating my new program here and I'm going to start a new rung I'm just going to do very very basic input output so I'm going to do, I think I've already created the tag, PB1. Now PB1, this is just a local data. So this is basically just an input that I have tied to the PLCs. And this is where I'm going to do my output. Now all um, 
outputs or inputs that are used for messaging or talking between PLCs have to be in the controller tag properties. So I go over the controller tag, select new tag over here. I'm going to name this um, signal to be sent. And since this is the one that's going to be sent over, I'm going to call this my producer tag. Okay, so I select producer. Notice that the data type immediately becomes a dint. Okay, I'm going to select connections, make sure I'm good here. We have max consumer one, no worries there. Um, we're all good, so we're going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit create. Now, come over here, add that signal to be sent. Uh, bring that up so here's my signal to be sent now this is a dint and you can't send a dint with this you only need to be able to say send one bit so you have to identify which bit inside of the dint that you want to send so you double click here you click the arrow down you come down to signal to be sent select the zero here and hit enter and you'll notice that it says signal to be sent zero okay this one's already set, rock and rolling. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to now add a input and an output. Now the output on this one um, is going to be the one that thing that we're going to be turning on. So I have a PL2 here, which is my pilot light. So I'm going to identify my uh, output here as PL2. Local data, that's all set up. Let me zoom in on this so it's a little bit easier to see. Now I'm going to come here and this is going to be my consumer tag. So it will consume whatever value my producer tag is at. So I'm going to come here. Um, I need to, this is, and your consumer tag needs to be a controller tag as well. So I'm going to right click, new tag. This will be, um, oops, signal, oops, signal received. Okay. This is a consumed tag, and I need to create my connection here. So, um, producer, just select. Basically, I've never found an issue. I've always just been able to select whichever one's there. Okay. Um, remote data. This is the value name. So, what I like to do is I like to go over to the other program, um, go into edit, and just copy this name right there. Control C. I'll copy come over here, paste, come back over here, hit OK, no worries there, signal to be sent, we're good there, we're going to hit check our status, everything's good, we're going to hit OK, and we hit create here. Now we're going to come over here, oops, signal uh, received, we, now we have to, now again this is a dint too, so we need to make sure that we're at the bit level, so we double click, expand this down. We want to grab the same bit that we're using over here and hit enter. Now both of these are ready to download. Now this one is going to download uh, to the L35E. This is going to download to the L32E. Uh, this is the L35E, this is the L32E. and. Uh, we're going to run through this real fast as these things are booting up. All right, now these are ready to be downloaded. So I come here, select download, download. Download done. Yes. I'm going to go back to remote run. Absolutely. And I'm going to step away from the microphone. I'm going to go over there and push the button, and you will see that this is the way it works. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to do one thing here, real quick. Let me put in a quick base tag here, um, toggle create, file download. Sorry, this way I don't have to leave my uh, station to go over and activate the buttons. Yes, come here. 
I toggle it, this turns on, this activates, this turns on. I come here, toggle this off, this goes false, this goes false, this goes false. So I now have a situation where I have one PLC controlling another PLC. And this is pretty basic because we're just controlling bits. But if we use uh, the different compare instructions that we have, different mathematical instructions, that's all we really need for most programs. Um, if you need to track actual dint values, let's say for a counter or a timer or something like that, you can do all of that through the message command. But this is just a very simple way um, to be able to send bits back. So, for example, I have something over here that, um, let's say we're doing a level uh, of a tank and it gets a, to a set amount that we can just have a equals to or greater than or equal to activate an input and uh, so we can get away from that without having to send over the entire uh, dint instruction. We can just do that at a base at a, a bit level. And so we can set this up to go the other way as well, where we can actually create a producer here and a consumer here, but it just wor works in reverse. So getting all of this set up is very important. And then understanding on how to get uh, these two set up as far as um, getting the, the bit level and the dent, setting it up in uh, your controller tags, things like that. That's uh, basically how it works. So good luck.